Hello, this is Richard Burdick, and this is an update to what I have been doing recently. Uh, last week I created a new version of my horn solo titled Infinity, Infinity, Opus 88, I guess the new one is Opus 88B, since there's an 88, which is the horn and tape loop. Um, there's a horn solo, 88A, and Opus 88B is the new version. It's simplified for more of a college student level performance. Um, it's cool work, and I'll explain how it's done, um, at least how I did it. And uh, it's on this CD, CD7, Infinity won the first version, always listed as 88D back then. And there's a few others, 88s, um, hmm, they may be lost except for the recording, um, and they may be discontinued as well. First of all, let's see. We have my website, i-ching-music.com. Um, the main page has a lot of stuff that I've been doing recently. It has an advertisement for my book, an interview with Alan Hovannis, an interview with Alan Hovannis. Um, it's amazing, it's about his spirituality, and you can find it here on i-ching-music.com. My new recordings are here. Um, the Gestaldi Renaissance music. Uh, I Ching rhythms, I Ching triads. I like this one the best, I Ching triads. So I'm gonna click on Bandcamp, and it takes me to the Bandcamp web, web page for that. To um, the new horn solo, I'm going to post the full version on YouTube, um, which I haven't been doing lately because I've been hosting my own videos on the website. Um, I'm going to post this on the website and YouTube, so you, that's probably where you've had it, YouTube. Um, let's see. So I've, I have four new recordings. Um, all the other recordings are here. Havanis. And then to find Opus 88, I use the Compositions link. And then I usually use the Chronicle as, oh, let's write alphabetical list and scroll down to I and find infinity. And I might alter this before the video goes out, but infinity, well, not better not. Um, I'll add it 88B. So I click on infinity, it takes me to this page, which is the solo horn version. I'm gonna do the Opus Tour, back arrow. To 88A and it's not there so I'm working on this update it'll be there before this video goes live 88B typed in the browser turns your turn oh it's not found oh look at that um, anyway uh, working on the website you will on the website what was 88B you will find this this recording the studio recording that I just did, and a copy of the sheet music for free. Um, okay, here's here's how I did the recording. I didn't record it live because it's a tape loop piece. Um, the first track here, I use eight tracks to record each of my horn parts. So this first green track is the original, and basically I recorded until I had to breathe, and then stopped, spliced, etc. I didn't want this recording because it, it loops. It loops. There's the original plus four echoes. I didn't want it to be breathing, breathing, breathing all the way through. I wanted no breath sounds. So that's what I did. I recorded this multi track about, you know, this much and then this much, spliced it. Um, etc. And then in the panning department, so then I copied, I got this, merged the sound bites, copied it down, one measure, another measure, another measure, another measure, and then first set of tracks is, oh, plus four volume, minus two, and second is minus two, minus eight, minus 14, and minus 20 in volume. So it gets softer as it echoes. But I also panned it so that the original recording, the, the live, well, not, not live, but the actual horn recording was panned fairly far out in the stereo. And then as I echoed it, the echoes came closer. Just thought I'd try it that way. 
So go to uh, i-ching-music.com to find Opus 88B if you want to see the sheet music. Um, it's revised from 2000, uh, 1995. Here is the sound of the solo horn part. Okay, and it goes on for five minutes, and there's a big break in the center. So it gives the performer a little rest. And the range isn't bad. It's from low B, which is kind of low concert E, lowest E note on the cello, lowest E on the cello, to, I think it goes to D, concert G in the staff. So it's it's not that big a range, so it can, it'll work for most instruments. Um, and it's pretty fun. So that was the solo part, and then we'll unsolo, we'll unsolo, the solo part, and here's what it sounds like with the echoes. And thanks for watching today.